Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. Wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. I hear the levies at you to go up. Can't talk about you look off. Sounds sick. Not so much what I and now. Where is this bearer? He wasn't from the hill. Here. Of course. Thank you, Clark. His name's You found Ah fucking We need him caught and handed. Well, go on then. All right, Ronald. Ha! <laughs> Not bloody. Come on. He wants live somewhere. We have to find it. I 
Better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Here you curse now, always. I can't oh, just ah, click. Oh, oh don't. You don't know him. I do, as it happened. Any other... He was making... You barely have to step out your front door. That's one of our branded. You can't have gone far. I better keep my eyes peeled. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Norris, I presume. Leave me. You were never... Ronald sent you after me, did he? And when we were so close... But it doesn't matter now. There's one bearer to another. Please! Don't do this! Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Just wait here and stay out of sight. Thank you. And... sorry. I've been called worse. Oh. I found a lantern back there. Thanks. But... All right. A bearer without a brand. Who lived free for so many years? I need to be betrayed by a friend.
Israel, yours are... You found... Any longer out in the sun and my cat... Be more careful now. Oh, I will. I... No point casting me nets of a morning if... It was a time honest tax crystals as... There you are. Well branded. Only what was left of him. Let me see that. Shall we consider that? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. And he wished those whose job it was. Letting a bearer go. Who want anything to do with me now? True, Clive. He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. Oh, you crap. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. To East Bull's men. I hear the levin. You would go up again. Martha said the blight had spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. seen to every last one, eh? it to you, Bear. Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. <laughs> oh, Fred served us well, Bearer. Be sure to... Look, the 
That must be Eastpool. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place.
quiet, isn't it? Yes. You! You're Clive Rossfield!
Anna. Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Anna. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you, too, Lady Anna. You simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and. And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <laughs> Do you think you will stay here, in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Ah. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. <sighs> Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years, without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. 
that I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. night on the balcony when we looked up at the moon I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, well, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Follow the road to the north. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go.
well met, friend. See you then. Anything take your fancy? Come back soon, though. Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers? Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastpool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house, and still consider the Rossfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions been daydreaming for too long but still I would ask a favor of you a small mercy if it is within my power one of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn I don't ask that you take him into your service only that you meet with him let him see that Elwyn's son still lives and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. He's not here. 
Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. All right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well, we're looking for... Ah, you mean the old boy? Yes, that's... What, uh... We are. Well, then, I never would have... It weren't the same. The levee's going... Oh, listen to me. Telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt you'll have gone far. He comes here every day. Almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around, then. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer. An elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, funny. I'm sorry. Oh, living in a dream, he... But better there than here, I suppose. No. Anyway. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey. Oh. Young Patrick. He'll be in this... Patrick the Chocobo Keeper. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for... He's not in his usual spot. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on a bound to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming. I was supposed to watch... Understood. You... Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. someone over there it might be him we should hurry company we can't lead them to the old man they need to die agreed <laughs> Yeah! Oh, 
Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace! You came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came! I'm... not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you... Wait for me in Eastpool. Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. The Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leading the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. 
I suppose that's one small mercy. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. Is it the absence of... They didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force, and problems are all that's left. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the Blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. Almost as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Could anyone? What is it, Orgul? Clive! That's him. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know!
Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Damn it! He's like a bloody eel. What is this place, anyway? Some sort of shrine? Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to... Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apodotry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Are you sure about this? Never more. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Have you ever seen anything like this? Over. 
malfunction. How can any of this? This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell.
Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hell-bent on murdering us, I expect. Could the Hooded Man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking.
like this. Seems the feeling's mutual. It's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Jill, look. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is.
then. Seem this place holds even more secrets than we thought. something. So, it isn't a dead end after all. 
Apparently not. Look what's in it. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Second dominant to fire. Who are you? Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. By accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran from everything. And now, are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace.
awaits me. I will press on. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are.
It's all right. I'm done running from you. Together, then. It's time to find out who we are. Once and for all. Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No. 
No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night, and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers, together. I want to learn the truth, too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet... They're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. delivered who who delivered the coffin said he said sit paid him I let you run a muck with the rest of your rats and this is how you repay me find out where he is Crush him! Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And 
concerned if we lost more of them. Out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord! So, what next? We returned to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again, about Lady Hannah amongst other things. Though she may be... to leave. I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. All right. We should arrange an introduction then.
Torgal, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. You could escape us, did you, Brandon? <laughs> you will stay. You'll die one. <laughs> Sick of toggle. 
sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command! Gav! Clive! Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? 
Oi. Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kubka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. Sid Sola, then. What the curl dragged in. Going purse weighing you down. You'll not find a better price than that. I'm thankful you got that much. Is that all? Don't mind me. Just taking a This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk. No matter how colourful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? 
for 13 years. Killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but bore and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. San Breck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do.
Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Higher-ups? The gods themselves? So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> a few potions for this. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick
bad, if I do say so myself. So what God or a flam? The holy cat. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Speaking of our if you ask me, so much fa just all right. Can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I can't nothing. That's worst of all. Maybe if you retrace your what scour store. No. Fine. Are you see, it sounds like Gotan's bait. If you can find, if, if it's there, I trust. I'm sure he doesn't. So it won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. There's a commotion in the main hall. Wanted to send a message. That'll be enough for today. We don't need you risking the curse for a barrel of shag. But how did the grocer know his daughter? Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. I'm looking for a bearer called. He was expect Randall. Though, think I'll go and look. He was to. I do hope. Ah. <sighs> 
Dang it. We've heard Randall. Wait. Further down, please. I'll do what I. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin.
Courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. supplies. <sighs> I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. I've come this far. Might as well ask around. I'm looking for. I can't say I have. So. Well. Wait. No idea if it was you. Which way did it go? Towards Lost. To the village. Shad's all salted and smoked. A whole day on the line and they're still not right. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. He's waited long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble.
do for supper? But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing all? Ah, there you are. And? Damn it. He's not far from the south gate. Of course. I knew he was brave. No, I didn't know he was reckless. Had you known him long? A while. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Otto barking at his lot earlier. Wanted to send a message. Maybe I should just own up. Well, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. <laughs> I was so... Only a little worse for wet. skulking about in the shadows for me then <laughs> and all thanks to you losing those supplies is it about <sighs> if only she's off studying in canver and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away he never mentioned a daughter well he's a busy man and thanks to you he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven bolts so I'd say you did us both a service here for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Come for a tail? There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. What subject shall we consider today?
are always welcome, Clive. <laughs> Do you need any help, uh, so Miss Molly? So you're really going through with it? Sis been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the hide in the Royalist gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. There's. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman? Right. <laughs> Don't go blind and over with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Ah, goats, Otto's, and let's know. Anyway, reckon you could probably. Here you go. Some new man must be a prop. <laughs> so I can battle tell it on a
So you're the... You're the... Truly. I won't... Wait here. I won't be long. I'll have... Sorry. It's... Oh, my apologies. Well, in that... That's written. Of course. And Master Quell. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Sun's setting fast. Master Quinton. Uh, wait, wait. If you're and you, I pass up I try and if I you look like please. All right. Oh Don't tell me. Turnips for some. Brother, did you see? <gasps> yeah. May we? Such brother, we sat and... I know. You're free now. Thank you. That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Looks like that was the last of them. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing?
I'll go to Andrew's, fetch us a handsome price among the... Well, I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And what? I've seen your face before. You Help you with what? Bandits in the gold. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. All right. I'll see to your problem. Oh, thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful. Fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Get him, lad. I want that place. I'll be keeping There he is! People will think twice about pushing us around again. Thanks. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread the Empire might be in... I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got work to do for to make this place presentable. Fancy giving us a hand? Quick look.
Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. Ifrit still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this Dane finds me? But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing off? to ride to Northridge now?
Northreach. north of the checkpoint. I hope the dame has friends in the south. What did you say was in these pies again? Oh, and a chine of roast antelope. Well, how about a plum for the apple of your eye? We've reds, whites. With the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the Begone! The gate's for citizens, not serfs. A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless... Unless... <laughs> unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes. That will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? <sighs> you say these are all from down there? Are you gonna buy something or not? We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But... 
It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome. To the veil. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to... Tatienne has been gone for several days now. Having left no... I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. Start here.
Heard the bones fell favorably. Sergeant's got it in for us, too. <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Well, you lost or something. Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right. Let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandy. All right. So you know one end of a book. <sighs> Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? I had a bearer win the day's favor anyway. I know he went to hold my tongue for a start. You've got potential. I give you that. Oh. Can I go now? Gregor's gas. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullocking he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? The Emperor's finest. I heard the bones fell favorably. To the Vale, then. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars. Can I trust you about about this? As unlikely as it All right. this town not for the want of coin. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses despite and despite my best attempt. Which brings me to my record. Fine. Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here. Deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now.
What food I can provide, go three bearers. It's no wonder. It's tragic. Be discreet for both our sakes. You won't be staying. I'm afraid not. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. You look like... Not half as much as I need this. I don't. Has it always been? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. That's something at least. From the Chamberlain. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to arrest? Stow those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Not been half a moon since then. Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! Jack, you'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you! Looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I've wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. As will my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. Might I and who exactly? Oh, forgive me. I am at. I have business. Be and who better than someone in the employ of? Would you be willing to? Why not? Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total: a grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise.
Flam's finest. Right. Well, I had some fun. This is lighter. I can always. You will do no such thing. Your master, had you been the tool of any other man, I would payment. Cigars. Those cigars are what. Oh, it all smells so delightful. I warn you, Etienne. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. Oh, that is no burden off my back. And. this for a drink not just any drink the very best specially distilled from our most discerning customers the guards find that they'll seize it before you can blink you keep it well hidden all right Vetienne likes it tell him there's more where that came from for a price of course of course perfume cigars and spirits someone has a of taste. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. I haven't seen you around the bay. Crystals. Why not just an honest after? And if this pipe, I didn't really as scarce as chuck about. I think you're yeah, a reward for. I thank you. For business? Business. Ah, just as well. So he re There was a t he was one rare for a fact my sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I better be going. Thank you. 